Utah's COVID cases are headed in the wrong direction, up by more than 3,300 in the past week. If this trend continues, state health leaders say we could start seeing 2,000 cases a day by mid-June. And that could reinstate some of those things we thought we'd gotten past. Masks, state testing, treatment, and vaccinations for the virus. Today, we're learning more about the impact of the Omicron variant, not only on the unvaccinated, but on those who got the shot. The Department of Health says those who are vaccinated have a higher risk of infection, going to the hospital and death than in previous waves. New specialist Matt Rascone joins us now to break it all down for us. Matt. Yeah, Dan and Dini, according to the health department, before the Omicron wave, vaccinated people made up about 19% of those who died of COVID. From December until now, that percentage has nearly doubled. Certainly there was a higher risk of people getting infected with Omicron. The Utah Department of Health calls anything after December 21st the Omicron period. And since then, they say 844 people have tragically lost their lives to COVID. Of those, nearly 39% were vaccinated. We want to be truthful. The, the vaccine's not perfect. Um, there are some people who, even though they do the right thing, can get a bad infection. Dr. Leisha Nolan says while the percentage of vaccinated people going to the hospital and dying from COVID is up this year. I do think it's still really important to point out that the vaccine has worked well. In fact, the state epidemiologist says those who haven't had a shot were 3.6 times more likely to die from an Omicron infection than those who were fully vaccinated. And the unvaccinated were 15 times more likely to die than those with a booster. So certainly it's not what we would want. We'd want it to be a thousand times, right? Like we want the vaccine to be as strong as possible. Dr. Nolan says our bodies need to be reminded how to fight off an infection. And that's where a booster shot helps. I think right now we're still trying to understand how long people can be protected and how long their bodies remember. The virus, of course, is going to be with us for a while. But Nolan says she hopes that with the help of the vaccine, things will be different. So it can be more of a, a nuisance and a difficulty in our life than a total life-changing thing that it was for the first year and a half, two years. Dr. Nolan expects those cases to go up in the coming weeks, as you heard. Uh, and she's also encouraging people to take reasonable precautions to not get sick. Uh, if you are over 50 or are immunocompromised, the recommendation is to get a second booster shot. Guys.